Shade over a thousand people, I yep. believe. I don't have the exact figure in front Still of me. Still ten rounds, bigger ten though. So we yeah. have uh, on your left we have John Casey. On your right we have Cedric Phillips. Cedric Phillips, a a grinder's grinder. Definitely. And a reminder, junk does not mean bad. Junk is the <laughs> slang for black, white, white green. green. Yep. Actually, my first uh, Pro Tour deck, New Orleans in 2001, yeah. unfortunately was that deck. So Cedric actually looks like he's also playing Vault of the Archangel, is that? Yep, that is Vault of the Archangel. Again, another uh, certainly certainly awesome once he has his uh, his big dudes online. Also very good with Lingering very Souls, obviously. Lingering Souls yes. too, yeah. Uh, I think it's, it's just a one of. Yep. So Cedric's starting out with a rampant growth here. His, uh, his mana base is actually uh, fairly taxed, so the rampant growth is not quite as straightforward as just getting a swamp since he has double white, double mm -hmm. green, and double black across the uh, across the spectrum here. So he's rampant growthing for a plains. So plains, so he's, he likely is not ramping toward a grave titan here. I haven't seen the rest of his hand. But um, especially in this matchup, uh, so Casey is actually, he's not running Wolf Run ramp. He's the Wolf Run aggro deck. So we don't actually have a ramp mirror here. But... Yep. Um, it, the ramp matchup's really hard, especially for the red-green aggro deck. Uh, landing in Elish Norn is almost game over. Uh, yeah. They have very few answers. And and Cedric is only a turn or half turn slower at going way over the top of the threats that the red-green deck can generate. Right. Uh, Huntmaster of the Fells is great, but when so you we see... Isolated Chapel into Sorin, and he is going to plus one and get a token into play. So the token is going to be Galvanic Blasted, so I assume this means he has a Hell Rider to clear out the Sorin. Sure. And yeah, it looks like. There yep. we go. Hard to justify Galvanic, Galvanic Blast there the unless one, you have Hell Rider. The one damage was under Cedric, or is it all? No, no it, he all had to put fall all, all four. four. Yeah, all four rather. Okay, so we have. Um, so actually, Cedric, it's. I think maybe I was misrepresenting it. First, when I said it's just a ramp deck. It's. It has a large enough with three Sorens and four Souls. It actually has a, a pretty. It's. It's more. There's a bigger commitment to tokens than I think I first. Yep. First led on. So Cedric has a Solemn here getting a Swamp, so now he has uh, access to double white and double black, and uh, is in a position at a fairly healthy life total to... Uh, mm, not that. <laughs> not that healthy <laughs> not anymore. That healthy. I was about to say, to land one so of his big guys. So. Actually, it's interesting. Is if Cedric doesn't block here, he's he's set to take six to take 12 damage here. Yeah, I assume actually, I assume he's he's going to chump yeah. with a Solemn. So this is an interesting thing. Um, with the Wolf Run in play, uh, the, the Hellriders really actually shine right now, and that Casey could... In some sense, you know, he, I, I would expect Cedric to drop a Mythic next turn of some yeah. sort. He has a lot of big, he has Alistorn or Day of Judgment, all excellent plays from this position, so. Yeah. So, so any of those would be great. Grave Titan is probably okay here. Yeah, Grave, Grave Titan is surprisingly, uh, it's it's certainly fine here, but he, Cedric could still easily lose the game from Grave Titan. Well, Much, what, the thing is, is that John would have to kill him, because on the swing back, Cedric can swing and vault his Grave yeah, Titan. Yeah, and then which, it's, yeah. Then the game's over. But he's going to need, I think, one of those plays to yeah. not die. He definitely needs something big this turn, but fortunately his deck has a variety of big things yeah. to play. Looking at the list, I, I would expect him to have something pretty big here, or at least, yeah, some removal, removal at the very least. So I believe Cedric played a Razorvine Thicket tap, so he has six mana, so that takes Alice Norn off the table. Right, yeah, I only, is there, there's, a, there's another one off the table we aren't seeing. So right now, right now looks yeah. like he only, he's only representing five. Well, um, he has the vault off the off the side somewhere. Yeah, the top is the vault. Okay, so he's lingering souls. That fails. I mean, this is fine from a blocking perspective, but well, I'm uh, not even I'm not even sure of that. Is it? Well, if he has Elishnor next turn, it's not the end of the world, right? He can just is block. He, is he is he alive here? He can chump out, or he's likely to be able to chump out. Uh oh, now, right here. Whoa. that's gonna <laughs> that will yeah, be game. All right, well, that's right. that. So, um, Hellrider, one of the more recent additions, the first versions of the red-green aggro deck that I was that were seeing play in, especially in Hawaii early on, weren't really running Hellrider. Um, I think we primarily it's a reaction to two ramp decks doing so well at the beginning yes. of the season. Yeah, and it was a. Uh, it's pretty interesting to see because my reaction to that card when I first saw it on the spoiler is, it seems like a worse uh, hero. hero. Right. It's right. Very similar. And it, yeah, they are very similar in that all of you. It attacks for four itself and gives your guys some additional, like, mm -hmm. basically plus one attack. It's very similar. So, uh, Actually, I was... if we played out that game, I think the two cards would have been identical in that, that game we just saw. Yeah. It, were they all heroes that would have, I think, been the same board? Right. 
I mean, it certainly would have been better had he not had the Metamorph, because Hero would have killed, like, it would have taken away Lingering Souls, being able to jump out of that turn. Right. Uh, but yeah, they would have played very similarly to one another, so. Yeah. So as a, as a red player, what's your opinion between the two cards? I think it's, I, it's obviously, because the rate of damage they're providing are very similar to one another, it sort of depends what you're anticipating your opponent being up to. Um, also, there's... Uh, the fact that the toughnesses are different, a lot of decks play Galvanic Blast as their spot removal spell. Sure, so that's that a big makes... argument for having Hellrider in that spot. And then it's, do you think your opponent's going to be casting Timely Reinforcements, in which right. do you have a bunch of you know guys on the ground that are trying to get through Timely? That makes Hero much more attractive. Otherwise, I think Hellrider's better because it gets you out of a bunch of other weird spots that Hero can't get you out of. Like, the board gets really gummed down. You can alpha with all your guys and just punk them out with the Hellrider damage. Where the sure, plus so like, one attack... Like, might... like, if there's a Gideon Jura, you can right, still it, win. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it gives you range in some spots you otherwise don't have range in. Um, it's surprising to me, I guess, how universally accepted Hellrider is because of the prevalence so, of Lingering Souls yeah. and Midnight Haunting and Moreland Haunt and all these all these kinds of cards, you would think there would definitely be spots where you would rather have Hero of Oxid Ridge, mm -hmm. but I think the community has kind of settled as, as Hellrider being the right card for that slot. Yeah. So, uh, I guess the the short summary of that would be, I'm not sure which one's better. <laughs> right. Well, no, that's a fair question. They're, they're very similar. Yeah. Um, looking at sideboards, so Casey uh, doesn't not having too much for the matchup, um, he has an acidic slime, which I, I feel like probably comes it's in. Probably against, fine, yeah. Probably fine. He has a metamorph, which is good, but but not great here because a lot of Cedric's threats are immediate impact threats. You know, if you LS Norn and then I metamorph it, um, yeah, that's still terrible for the yeah, red and green deck. And just uh, conceptually, that's not kind of the way that. The That's, game is going to play out for Casey right. to win because Cedric has so many powerful things to go over the top with that even answering one for one from that position is not going to catch you up to, from what the types of cards Cedric are yeah. playing. What, so what Casey kind of needs to do, and I, so I think I'll say mainly with his main deck is his game plans is he either needs to um, win very quickly, but he, he's probably not fast enough to consistently do that. So he needs to have some sort of threat that's like still good in a post on a post Titan board, right? Which is hard. Yeah, so, and that's another that's a nice spot for Hellrider. Also, is a, on a post Elish Norn board or post Grave Titan board, Hellrider still has value. Yeah, which is which is very good. Um, but other than that, I don't, I don't see too much coming in. I think John will mainly be playing his game one deck. So from um, Cedric's side of things here, we have uh, another Oblivion Ring, which I think makes uh, you should probably bring in. Two copies of Beast Within seem appropriate for this matchup. Another copy of Day of Judgment. Definitely, um, def definitely Day. Beast Within is, is interesting. I'm not sure. Like, I look at his list, and I'm not entirely sure what I would cut for it. I, I like it less. I think, I think Soren is probably one of the weaker cards here. Yeah. I, I, Soren is. I don't think Soren is particularly good in this matchup. So no. I would expect that to to hit the bench. Um, but yeah, I mean, he has a he has a batter skull if he wants it, uh, which is also fine here. So he has a some swapping he can potentially do. But Cedric's main deck, there's not a lot of fat here for the matchup. Sure. Yeah. So so I think yeah. So for the most part, they're both still running the game one matchup. Which right. from this board, I mean. Originally, I would say fav favors Cedric. I think it still does, but on the other hand, down a game. Yeah, I'm not I mean, sure. He has really. a lot of yeah. His his hands. I don't. I don't know what was in it because it was off camera, but his hand must have been a, a exceptionally poor for him to have six mana on turn four and cast Lingering Souls and flash it back, as opposed to as opposed to some other Day of Judgment yeah. or Grave Titan, which give him a very good shot of winning the game for which the actually, As it turns out, Grave Titan may not have gone. Yeah, there, Grave Titan with, we, the, with as, the as we found yeah, out with the Metamorph. Uh, well, does it, he's able to block out of that turn, and then... Actually, no, yeah, he's still in no he, he actually dies on the swing. Oh, right, because it's Cause three, it's six... Yeah, it's 12 on the swing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, multi, triple Hell Riders, actually. <laughs> very, very scary. Uh, Spear of Spear. the Suns off two planes. And I think he's got to be pretty happy. that, Like I said, how John really wants fast starts. Um, I am actually a little... Can, I I don't like the keep from John. I don't know what this, the keep is, but it feels like he's trying to outmuscle the ramp deck, which is all right. There's Garrick Relentless. Right. I'm I'm skeptical of, of keeping something without without a quick right. play here, particularly on the draw. I mean, yeah. you, you need to have a. Although he was able to win, uh, he did win last game on the draw with no turn one yeah. play. So His turn three play is a sword, which is fine, but yeah, actually hit. that's that still does not seem like enough. Right. Although Cedric's uh, might be having some colored mana issues this game potentially, as yeah. he's stuck on planes, planes, vault, and a sphere of the suns. So assuming he doesn't have another land here, he has to be very uh, 
judicious with how he uses that Spear of the Suns. Right, he has a, you know, wants to save it for spells like Rampant Growth. Right. Uh, so he's, he's just going to go for Lingering Souls, which actually, right. the, so, the threat of the Vault activation yes. here, he might not have to be a ramp deck this game. Right. Might just beat him down with his knuckleheads and yeah. <laughs> never, never cast a six and win the game. Which so I would my not. guess is I imagine, I I bet John has, well, he, he still has a forest in, in his hand. Oh, he has double double duels. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I was thinking he only had single green, but that's not right. Um, I'd expect a big threat out of him. He had to, His hand was capped based on something, so probably a yeah, Huntmaster. I, yeah. Right? <laughs> birds and... Suit up the birds, I guess? Sure. It, it, if Cedric's really... I mean, what this will do is it'll get rid of the Garrick. That said, if Garrick makes a third wolf and Cedric just lets him kill the Garrick, I, I think Cedric's fine with that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Cedric still has a pretty developed board, assuming he makes another wolf this turn, and I assume Casey is unwilling to block with his bird because <laughs> right. uh, then Garrick can shoot it down after combat. Or we can just do that. Oblivion, Oblivion ring, ring sword. sword, sure. Then, and then and it's probably shooting down the and bird. And then eat, yeah. eating the bird, swinging for six. Puts Casey to twelve. Yeah. Well, Cedric has so to think about dilemma, if he wants like to leave shooting, a guy. Would you like shooting down the bird there, or do you actually just, or would you make a wolf? Um, I don't know. It's potent, it's possible the threat of another piece of equipment is enough for Cedric to want to just gun down the bird. I suppose if he has another land and equips a sword, Cedric might. If Cedric feels ahead enough. Right. He, he he doesn't want to lose to another land sword equip swing game seven. Yes. So like this is probably this is probably better. And I think Cedric's thinking about whether or not he wants to leave a spirit back back to potentially block a haste creature that. The haste the biggest creature he'd be worried about would be Hellrider. Right, but I think uh, Cedric's if he goes. Galvanic blast the Garrick to one, which suggests John has a strangle root geist. Or maybe a Hellrider and just doesn't want to ship everything. Yeah, yep. it is a Hellrider. Uh, he can do one, so he can so, kill yeah. the Garrick, and then three to Cedric. Right. Cedric's still uh, a pretty advanced yeah. board. And, and remember, he does have a Sphere of the Suns on two off camera. Yeah. A pretty there you go. There yep. it is. An Oblivion Ring. Oh, now the, the Oblivion Ring is off camera, but he has one of those R2, as well. <laughs> yeah, there's a Souls in the Yard, too. Yeah, so plenty of stuff. <laughs> sorry about that. Plenty of stuff off camera. And yeah, I, I think I think Cedric transitions to just racing here. Yep. He, he seems he's got a two turn two turn clock here. Casey on twelve, knocking him down to six here. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if he had a swamp, I'd say at this point, do he probably does he spend a count? Does he spend a second sphere counter just to throw more souls out? And I think I think he's deciding. Yeah, well, he's thinking that he might. Yep. He has to be careful about. Uh, I guess he has to consider corrosive gale here because. If his, sphere gets, if his sphere gets emptied out, but then there's an even bigger oh, question. Okay, and that's much, ram ram and growth. an ex excellent use yep. of the sphere. I guess Cedric would even have to answer the question about whether John would have even brought it in to begin with. Right. Cedric getting the swamp. Well, so now his uh, vault is online. Vault's online. Comfortably online. Any flashback. land keeps it going forever now. Right. We, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing too many, I, I guess, um, I'm not seeing too many responses for John here. Yeah, I mean, there's a big question mark about whether he would even bring in Corrosive Gale. It seems quite bad in general, so I would be right. surprised. Right, Try, trying to answer, because remember, Ling, cause Ling, yeah, for those All right, well, things, and we have a Celestial purge. purge for the Hellrider. Yeah, Lingering Souls isn't Cedric's main plan, so bringing it in really... Not. That's a uh, yeah. that's a singleton celestial purge out of the board. And <coughs> got that blast on a wolf to stay alive. I'm expecting expecting a game three pretty quick. And Cedric making more lingering souls. Or me. Maybe Arrange just not. Ticket. Well, I think you can pretty comfortably assume if he had some way to sweep. Sweep up, he would have played it last turn. Yeah. So you're probably in the clear to flashback. Another sphere. Cedric finally getting his, his ramp on on yeah. turn six with a lethal board. <laughs> <laughs> and I still had an Elish Norn, but <laughs> not needed. All right. All right, and we're going so, to th game three. Yep. 
And so two fairly quick games out of it. I, I feel like actually neither of these games playing out how I expect the matchup to play out. Yes, yeah. both uh, two pretty weird ones. I mean, if you had um, if you had to sculpt out a curve for Cedric where you would feel comfortable John would win, it would be something like that, where mm -hmm. Cedric isn't ramping, stumbling on man a little bit, but uh, Casey kept a fairly reactive hand and right. wasn't really uh, able to handle Garrick and Lingering Souls with his spot removal. I think that's what I was hitting on earlier, especially when you're playing against a deck that will overpower you in fairly short order. I, I don't think you can play the reactive game there. Yeah. If, even if it, even if it's a hand with a lot of the cards you really like to see, I don't... I mean, his first real threat was on... He had a turn four birds suited up, so his first attack, possible attack, was on turn, turn five, five with that hand, which is yeah. really, I mean, you have to assume that Cedric... I mean... Cedric on the play will make Titans by turn five, and so suited up birds probably is not going to be enough there. Yeah. But it's you know it's often it's often challenging to throw away lands and spells, and so I can cast my spells. Yes, especially know? when they're good spells. You'll, you'll see if, right. if you see a hand you know with three lands, a sword, a, a hunt master, a hunt ma right, and yeah, it's it's very hard to throw that away. So, do you think there's any chance that either of these players are sideboarding differently, whether or not they're on the play or on the draw? Do any? I mean, Cedric's cards hmm. certainly. Uh, some of them have to change in value here. Uh, the Planeswalkers, especially, since it's much harder uh, to play them on a stable board when you're going uh, second right. versus going first. I think if we're going to the assumption that Cedric sided out his Sorens, which I, which I would have done, I think yeah. his only Planeswalker is Garuk. And Garuk is is really that was like a singleton. It, it, it's that a was, it's yeah. a singleton. I think it's just a removal spell in this matchup. Right. So so I think he. I would play the Gurk on an unprotected board and just be okay that it's dying. Yeah. Because Cedric's really just just needs time. Yeah. He has so many... So many big things. Yeah, He's so many things that are, can win the game single-handedly or close to it that even Lingering Souls just chomping and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's can get him to the finish line. Cedric also with two uh, Gavany Townships in his deck and two Ghost Quarters, which is sort of Backdoor mana fixing, I guess, but he's definitely for a three color <laughs> for a three color deck. He definitely has a lot of colorless lands. Yeah, the Gavney Townships are interesting. I won. Um, what it does let him do actually is so Cassic Wolf Run decks usually have this game backup plan where they Wolf Run into uh, Ink Moth and Wolf Run. Yeah. Now I, I kind of used to joke. We had a joke going on with my friends where I said. You know, they said we had a session. Said, "Oh, is Primeval Titan broken?" And someone said, "No, all, it's only the lands he gets." And my comeback—I remember my comeback was, "You could get almost anything. You could, you could Primeval Titan getting Gaffney Township and Moorland Haunt, and that'd probably also be yeah. like a standard <laughs> deck." And and to be funny, where is Cedric's not that far from here? I mean, right. okay, getting Gaffney Township and and Vault of the yeah, Archangel—like yeah, right. that's actually a backdoor way to win yeah. off your Primeval Titan. Well, the second the second Gaffney Township is sort of surprising to me because I could definitely yeah. see like, well. It's okay to draw randomly, and there's spots where I want to tighten for it. Playing the second one is sort of an indicator that he plans That's on That's actually drawing. a strategy. Yeah, he actually wants it as part of a natural game plan, so. Which is interesting. Um, what I would imagine, here would be my take on the reasoning behind it. My guess would be is that there's some matchups where he wants to re-sideboard the focus of his deck to be a tokens deck as opposed to a ramp deck. Yep. And so if, if you're planning, so, you know, say for example, you've decided blue-black is a bad matchup, because it probably is. You'd say, okay, against blue-black, I'm gonna become a Lingering Soul Soren deck. And if that's your game plan, well, you're gonna have to want, you're gonna want those lands, so yep. you're gonna try to run extras. That, like, I, 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 that would be my justification yeah, for Yeah, there certainly are some matchups where your tokens and not any of the decks that are siding in, you know, Flash Freeze, Dissipate, yeah. whatever, your, your token think, generating cards are more effective. I think than Blue your Black's big... a good example. Of, yeah. yeah. It'd be something, that'd be something where I'd really, you know, I'd, I don't want Elish Norn against Blue Black. I don't really want Grave Titan. All right, uh, John on the play, and I do like this give John. All right, this is a much, turn one much birds. better. <laughs> Already after turn one, I think it's much better. Uh, a bird. Cemetery for Cedric. And Strangle Root Geist. This appears to be a much better yeah, John start. also has a Sword of War and Peace in his hand. Yep. So I do, I, even though it's not as good on mana, I do like this play more. Well, it it depends actually for me if he has the if he has a third land. If he has a third land, I almost like the sword there and then Geist Equip Swing. Yep. Which is the same amount of damage, but you get the sword online. But okay, this. Never mind. This is yeah, much this better. Yeah, this is this one is million <laughs> points, and Cedric without a ramp spell, which means that he is a. Uh, not even in a position to cast Day of Judgment yeah. next turn. One of the ways he can win, John Casey wins, is winning fast, and this is very fast. Cedric already at 11. 
Lingering Souls. Um, remember, if John... Big question mark if he even gets John, out of this turn. If John has a fourth land here. Oh my. You're gonna see... Yeah, yeah. Sword equip. <laughs> so that's actually one million. <laughs> Is that all of it? So that's five, six, seven, five, six, seven. I believe seven. that's a wrap. If there's four cards in Cedric's hand, that's that's eleven. Yeah, and he only played one spell, so he should have six in his mitt. Unless he... <laughs> that's a turn four kill by John Casey. All right, and <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, that's right, the kind so of hand John you Casey want. John wins two one. Paper team, please come to the main stage. Looks like he uh, he saved his best stage. for last. <laughs> as far as 